Are presidents or leaders born or are they trained? I think certain qualities are inborn. Perhaps empathy is one of them. I think one of the most important quality in a leader is empathy, and you can have a natural born empathy. Lincoln, from the time he was a little kid, when his friends would be putting hot coals on turtles to make them wriggle, he would go over and say, that's wrong. I think Lyndon Johnson had a certain empathy when he was young. Maybe both of them, having come from poor backgrounds, made them closer to seeing people who were in trouble and feeling for them. He taught at a small Mexican-American school, and he saw the pain. He was just a kid in college at that time, taking off a year to make money. He saw the pain of prejudice on their face, and he really wanted to help them. And he changed those kids' <laughs> lives. Whereas for Franklin and Teddy Roosevelt, empathy didn't develop until they actually went into politics. Um, Teddy said when he first went in that he was just going in for an adventure to get in the state legislature, and he thought it might be fun. But once he got there and he saw tenement houses, and he was a police commissioner later, and he saw what the slums were like at night, then he developed what he called a fellow feeling, a desire to help make mm -hmm. their lives better. And FDR's polio clearly made him a much more warm-hearted man to whom um, other people had had fate deal an unkind hand, and now him, so he could relate to them better.